I really, I really like it. <laughs> I don't know. It just exploded. Hello, 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 my lovely people, and welcome back to Addie's World. My name is Aideen. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. If not, and this is your first time, sit down, relax, grab a drink, stay to the end of the video. If you like what you see, maybe think about hitting the subscribe button and making sure your bell is on for all upcoming notifications. Okay people, I've slightly changed my background so I'm very awkward. I'm on the opposite side of the camera to I normally am so bear with me. But if you haven't seen my last video, I'll link it up here. I mentioned that I bought a makeup product from Wish. Yes, this one here, Water Feeling. And it's one of those mushroom products with the foundation. Now, there was only one color to choose from, so we're gonna try it out today. So, let me stop yapping, and we'll jump on in. Okay, people, right, time to take off the glass and zoom you in, but I'm just warning you, I do have a few breakouts on my chin that I have just filled with concealer. But, and I've done my eyebrows, I couldn't find my eyebrow pencil, so I used an unusual shade of brown. Please don't come for me. I know it's not good. So, this Water Feeling One Spring. Now, I mentioned in the last video that I thought it was pre-used, but I think it could have just been squashed a little, and I just cleaned it up, to be honest. But it comes with this. This is what the inside looks like. And of course, I got my little button buffer as they call it. By the way, have we all seen that they perhaps have identified the Zodiac Killer? Very interesting. So I paid 10 euro for this and of course it was wish so it was 11, 11 euro to deliver. I probably could have got cheaper off Amazon to be honest but I wanted to go for the real authentic one from wish. So again, I don't even know what shade I got in this. It just says 01 hash natural color so it seems a bit pinky but we're gonna go ahead i want to see does it do it guys does it do it i'm gonna give it a good uh, in there okay slightly off center but it actually does that was all me who did that but it seems to be doing it i don't know if it's picking up a lot i don't know if i have to be a bit more aggressive but let's see how this does not match my skin or let's see what kind of coverage it gets. Now, it smells quite sunscreeny. Again, there's no mention of what's actually in this, so hurry for my skin. Okay. Hmm. I think if I picked up a bit more product, it would be good, but I don't know if you can see my redness is coming through on camera, but it's actually not as bad as in person. But again, I'm not quite sure if I've picked up any of it. Let's go back for more. <gasps> oh, that's going to take a while to clean up. <laughs> Never fear, I have trusty water wipes. Oh my God, guys, it is so funny. Look, it shot across all my makeup brushes. Oh my phone. Oh God. God, you couldn't even plan that, guys. You couldn't, I couldn't even plan that. Okay, so beware, it does explode at the side guys okay and we are back with it's still everywhere but we'll just give it a see what the coverage is really like now that i've got a lot of it you know it's not that bad just i feel will take ages with this but a new few products that i'm going to try out today guys as well i'm going out my last glossy box i got uh eyeshadow palette so i'm going to use that today and i'm going to use some of the wonder bronzer from my birch box from the last video so yeah okay this is crap let's go back to a beauty sponge i really see what happened so i'm gonna get up close so you can see it gives an overall nice kind of glow to the skin is there much coverage in it no not at all I feel like you'd want to be baby bringing up your concealer a lot for this. But it's on. It's, it's not too bad. Now there's not a nice smell off it. It's very 
SPF and it feels quite heavy on the skin like it's not been soaked in now I know I'm pounding a lot more onto it but it's definitely it's not full coverage it's not my nose looks fine but it's not sitting in pores properly around here so again I can't really be shocked at that but you know I, I didn't think it was that pricey but it's actually expensive enough oh, guys I still can't get over that look just like it exploded at the side okay. I'm sure when I'm editing this I will have to clean this room but I'm gonna leave this layer on anyway and again I don't think it's that bad but coverage wise like I put concealer on these and it's actually I just after taking off the concealer so I will do a bit of spot concealing just not too much just it's a nice light day now you can't give out about my neck because my neck has tan on it so I really am not going to judge it by that either right let's get some powder ready and concealer I'm just going to use the sculpted by Amy the fair plus uh, Amy Conley it's an Irish brand and I'm going to start using my new brushes that I got from Reveluna. I really like this and I really think this this one I used to put spot conceal already this is their R08 I actually really like it it's just long and the brushes are soft but they're firm enough that you can feel like you're putting something down I'm um, spot concealing but I'm also where there's a little bit of redness coming through I'm also popping just a little concealer there and then I'll just use the cleaner side of the beauty sponge and just buff that out and I'm going to use a little bit of powder just to set under my eyes because again I don't feel like this is setting or settling in my skin at all so I'm going to go use the R04 from Rebeluna which I actually um, think is beautiful I'm just gonna set some places that I feel like, you know me, menopause, that I would get a little bit greasy on. Okay, this brush is beautiful to use, guys. Absolutely. This is not sponsored by them, <laughs> don't worry. Okay, so we have the bases down. Uh, we have foundation everywhere, and a bit of concealer, a bit of powder. That's not too bad. So what I'm gonna go and use next is the Wonder Beauty, the Gorgeous on the Go, the trip to Costa Rica, the one I got in my glass box. No, got in my birch box. Loose Cash Beauty for this, just kind of to warm up the very, very pale color. See, you can see the redness is there, but I thought this was quite pale, but it seems to be going on actually quite dark, which is it's quite nice actually. Not overly dark, but I don't want to do any contouring today or anything like this. I just want to kind of a natural, but this makeup been light. Just kind of keep it kind of fresh and nice. I'll speed through this so you don't have to watch me doing it all. Like realistically, everything can be fixed with bronzer. That's actually a beautiful bronzer guys, really light feeling on the skin and it's not as light, like it's coming out quite a lot darker than I thought it would. So I'm actually really, really happy with that. That is definitely one that I would pack if I was going, going away, like rather than bringing 18 million different bronzers. For my eyes, again, I'm just gonna use this Steve Laurent uh, make eyeshadow palette I got. I think it's a, it's a nine pan palette colors are quite cute now i have dipped i've dipped my finger into them i don't know if they're overly pigmented so yeah i'm gonna just go maybe use these two browns and maybe a lighter one as kind of a transition higher color but we'll see now they're quite powdery but again doesn't bother me and i've been seeing a lot online how i need to be able to look straight ahead to get my proper placement of my kind of transition middle color so excuse me if I look a bit weird and have this in my face okay so that one is fairly pigmented all right I'm just gonna do a nice kind of triangle in the corner then pop the place or pop the darker one in there this one I'm just gonna use my R20 and buff it up a bit
actually this brush is great for kind of just hugging your eye and kind of just blending it evenly I quite like that now the only thing about that shadow is once you start to blend it it kind of blends away nice it's nice nice I can get it nice I, I, I like that I like that from here I'm just going to use a kind of a morphe smaller domed one but I just want to go into the darker brown just to really pop it into the corner and keep it quite low And I just use that lighter shade just to kind of really buff up the top. But it actually gives a beautiful um, colour. It's a nice little eye look. Very simple. And I'm then going to use that flat, the R22. That flat one there. And I'm going to pop that same colour just mostly over my lid. Just to make it a bit more matte. And using that little bullet one, which is R24, I'm going to go back in with the dark brown and just kind of drag it underneath. Just kind of continuing on. Right, come back to me guys and I will have the other eye done. Okay guys, I am back. Could I resist whacking on more bronzer? No, I couldn't. And I did use a blusher as well. Guys, you cannot go wrong with Beauty Bay. They're cheap as chips. Bronzers are amazing. This is the Coral um, Blusher. They are so, 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 so good. I can't recommend the, the Beauty Bay's own brand of stuff. They're so, so well put together. Um, I feel like I'm a bit angular here, but however, I just lashed, washed, ugh, I just lashed on, lashed on some mascara and finished that part up. But I've had a few people contact me about this next product that I'm gonna use because it came in one of my glossy boxes or birch box, I can't even remember at this stage. And they were like, how dare you not use it? And not show us. This was the Wine Me Hollow Neon, Ola Neon lipstick. And I was, I remember saying it was gonna be beautiful for fall and I never showed you guys because I never actually wore it yet. So we're gonna pop that on today and let's hope for the best. I know it's probably not gonna go up my look, but it's a beautiful berry wine color. So, mm -hmm. and I'm not great actually putting on lipstick. And here we have the finished look, guys. Let me know what you think. My opinion on this shit show, well, just be glad I got it. I bought it so you don't have to. Uh, I've probably wasted more of the product with the mini explosion. Uh, let's face it, I don't think I'll be using it again anyway. So, uh, it's all dirty. Anyway. Anyway, guys, uh, my verdict on that foundation is do not, for the love of you, buy it. Unless you want an explosion. Thank God I bought it for you so you don't have to. Container is very pretty. This is useless. And it's currently exploded all over my desk. So that's fun. The little eyeshadow palette was really, really cute. The only thing I felt that was missing in it was kind of a lighter color in maybe a glitter or a metallic or something because I had nothing really to pop on my inner corner if you were just gonna use that. Colors are beautiful when they first go on, but they do kind of fade away. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but they do. The brushes I used, all the brushes I used from the Rebel Luna, the ones I got, guys, I love them. I actually, this is a a very favorite of mine and I definitely love this one, the R08. It's kind of like a big concealer brush. I found that brilliant. But yeah, thumbs up for the brushes. The lippy. Um, it's cute, it's nice. Not overly pigmented, but it really is a, like a gloss more than anything. It feels like a gloss, it's super hydrating on the lips. So I'm actually really happy with that. I hope you enjoyed the shit show that is Wish Makeup. And uh, when you're watching this, I'll probably still be cleaning this room in here. Again guys, so that's gonna be it for the day. Thank you so much if you've lasted this long. If you haven't already, please consider hitting the subscribe button and giving this video a big thumbs up. Um, if this is your first time, you may not realize I have a massive giveaway going. Well, it's not going at the moment, but it will be going up on Instagram. I'm talking a load of Made by Mitchell products, the, the three palettes he had out, um, some blushes. I have two glossy boxes going in it. So yeah, there is a big giveaway included. But stay cool, stay calm, and wear your goddamn masks. I love you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.